all of you episode conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Geo by GJS Robots. Now, GJS Robots is a company we've seen before that also makes incredible robots such as the Ganker. So this here is their latest lineup in robots. Now, this here is a first person shooter robot that allows you to control it fully and compete against other people. In which we have here is a prototype of the actual version that will be coming out soon. So if you want your very own, check out their link down below in the description. Now this particular robot retails at $259, which is a lot cheaper than the Ganker robot. So you do get a lot of the same technology, but in a different kind of package. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. Alright, so this here's our box. Uh, it's actually a fairly nice size shaped and it's got a lot of cool looking images on it. Uh, you can see there's a lot of different like uh, clip arts of the actual robot here. Uh, on the side here shows the Geo logo. You do see that there's different colors that it comes with. So we have a white Geo and a red Geo. The one we'll be looking at is the red one today. Uh, on this side here, it's kind of got like a blueprint version of it. Uh, so it kind of shows everything in terms of the way it's designed and from the front to the back to the sides. Uh, this here is the informal version, so it's not necessarily the final product, but kind of gives you an idea of what's going to be happening. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. Alright, so here we get two different things. Uh, for one, we have ourselves the box. Uh, this here turns into a box that you can use uh, for the robot. It actually recognizes these different icons, in which we'll kind of go into it a little bit later. But it does give the robots different power-ups, so that's actually very cool. You can do scavenger hunts with it, you can do races, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and put that to the side for now and just look at the robot itself. Now, the robot itself is actually a very cool looking robot. Uh, I really like the design itself, it has a nice mech, uh, almost like an anime kind of look to it. Uh, you do see a lot of different body panels on here, uh, this here says like number two. Uh, obviously the final version is going to look a lot more, more refined, but this here is actually kind of gives you an idea on how it's going to all look out. Uh, you got the power button here on the back, so literally when you press this button it'll turn on. Uh, we got ourselves a cool looking gun that does revolve, so when you shoot it does like spin at the same time. It's got an LED in it that blinks. Uh, you got the camera here on the front, an LCD screen which will show the eye of the robot. Uh, we got a few different sensors and the wheels itself uh, here just kind of rotate like so. So it does move in a full 360 degree as well as XYZ uh, axis. So let's go ahead and turn on the power button. Right away you'll hear the robot turn on. Uh, so you see the eye right here, this actually animates, it'll blink, it'll look around. Uh, this here's the camera itself. Uh, this here's the revolver, it's got an LED inside of it. Uh, we got a few different LEDs here in the, each of the different panels. So depending on the color itself, so it could either be red or blue depending on what team you go with. Uh, we got a few different sensors, so the battery pack is on the bottom over here with the charging cable that just plugs right in. Uh, and then on the back here we have a few different LEDs, We've got some in the lights over here. Uh, you can see like there's a vented uh, ventilation over here. This is where all the components are in terms of the, like, the chip or the mechanisms go. Uh, and then you know just a few different like logos and a few different stickers. Uh, very cool looking design, makes a great showpiece itself. Uh, definitely feels pretty nice, a nice solid feel and it's got a good amount of weight to it. So let's go ahead and boot up this guy and connect to the Wi-Fi and try this all out. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go. I got the app connected to our Geo via Wi-Fi. Uh, and now in terms of the menu itself, you get a battle mode as well as the settings. Uh, now the robot itself is still updating, meaning that Geo will be having different functions and different battle methods, such as race mode or speed mode. I'm sure they're going to come up with a lot of different ideas. But it's still in a work in progress, so do keep that in mind. Now in terms of battle mode, as soon as you select it, it lets you pick a team between red and blue. Uh, right now we do see the LEDs on the robot are red, but for instance, if we selected the blue team, watch what happens. They turn blue. So you can pick a team based on that, and then when you have all your geos ready to fight, you just go ahead and battle it out based on your team colors. Now the controls itself are quite simple. Uh, from the left hand side to the right, uh, we have our directional movement. So if we hit this here, it'll go back. And if we hit it again, it'll go forward. And then you can go ahead and do left and right and whatever you want going based on that direction itself. Now on the right here, we'll control the camera itself or the head. We can go ahead and rotate it on a linear plane. Uh, you do notice that the gauntlet will be firing as well as an LED inside of it firing at the same time simultaneously, giving the appearance of it shooting at the same time. Now on the bottom here we have a rotational button which allows you to go ahead and rotate the robot in a full 360 motion. 
And then on the top here, it's a uh, FPV button. So it allows you to see the robot in real time and see what it's looking at. And you can see that it is very responsive in the sense of how fast it rotates. Now, if you click on the uh, top right over here, you'll notice that there's a few different icons as well. Uh, so it looks like we have a, like a slow icon, we have a chaos icon, fr freeze icon, as well as fire. Now, these here are special attack weapons uh, in which, as you play, uh, you'll see these boxes that you set up throughout the, uh, the stage itself. And if the robot sees it, you'll obtain these weapons that you can fire against another Geo. So one, I would assume, freezes the robot, and one would actually kind of slow it down. And then the other one's like a fireball. Now on the left hand side of this menu itself, you'll see that there is a health bar. So as you fight, the health bar will decrease. Uh, these here are different uh, sensors on the robot itself, determining if it's getting shot at. So that's really nice. Uh, but let's just go ahead and try this out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the robot in a direction like this here, and grab the box that it comes with. So this here is the box that it comes with, uh, in which on each side of the corner of the box you'll see that the different health meters, uh, we have our pack weapons, uh, we got the uh, chaos bullet, and so on and so forth. Now what you do is you just go ahead and set this up somewhere like over here, and then on the camera screen itself, if you just go ahead and position the robot at the right location, uh, and if it sees it, there we go. So we just got the chaos bullet. So now, as you notice on the top right, it says number five. And if you press it against the enemy, it'll shoot at the enemy. So it's really nice that it does have this detection uh, capability. Uh, it definitely gives it a very unique concept in battling. So very nice and a very cool design nonetheless. So let's go ahead and try out this drivability of it and see how it handles and kind of get a better idea in terms of how the controls work. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the robot down for now. All right, and now we're just gonna go ahead and try driving it and see how this all functions. So I'm gonna use a directional plane on the top, uh, bottom left here. This will allow me to control it in terms of movement goes. And then we can go ahead and just rotate just like that. As you may notice, it is really sensitive and uh, controlling it is quite difficult, but I would imagine that you know the more you try it, the easier it gets. So there is a game curve right here that I, I showed you. Um, just an idea with this is that GGS Robot will create a function where you can battle against a ganker. So how cool is that, that you can fight against other robots? Uh, definitely a very unique concept, uh, but it's still in the work in the making. All right, well there you have it. I hope this kind of gives you an idea of what the Geo Robot is about. The concept of it is very unique, and being able to battle against other Geos is quite fun as well. Now the speed itself, as well as the sensitivity, are amazing, uh, but they do make it a little bit more difficult to drive. But I assume and imagine if you just go ahead and keep driving it, as well as practicing with it, it should come quite easy to you. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you had any questions about the Geo Robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.